On this video, we're going to install the Google Wi-Fi Mesh Network. I'm going to show you the speed test in comparison to regular ACES routers, what they are on a regular 2.4 gigahertz network versus what you're going to get with the Wi-Fi Mesh Network. So make sure you watch the whole video. We have to turn it around and we have to scan this QR code. Yeah, we're almost getting maximum of what the bandwidth is allowing. So on average, you're going to get pretty much 90 or 95% of your actual internet speed with the Google Mesh. So this is the Google Wi-Fi network. We got three pucks. So the way it works is you essentially need to plug one into your cable modem, or in our case, we have two networks. So we have that cable modem plugged into here, and then from here, a port from here, going into here, and that still works. So therefore we have the router connection, and then we have the Google connection. So eventually we're gonna remove this and make this into an access point for the backyard. But for now, you can use it to configure it so that way you don't lose your old network. Anyways, so from here to here, I'm gonna show you, you can see that this one goes on here on the very first one. So then this becomes your main point. And when you set this up, you're gonna scan that QR code from your Google Home application. Once this is set up, the next one you plug in, and then you go add new device, automatically it's gonna know that that is an access point to this one. And then you can keep adding multiple access, you can add as many access points as you want. So the second access point that we plugged in is right over here in this room that's completely on the opposite side. But if we put this in here, then the Chromecast, the fireplace, that's all controlled by the phone and then the Google, which is here, are all gonna be not timing out also. The backyard is super close to here, which means we can go from here pretty much to the end of our fence, which is another 40 feet from, from this spot. Let's run some speed tests right now. We're gonna be connecting first to our regular ACES router, then Google. We're just gonna test the regular 2.4. Connected, and now we're gonna go and run a speed test. As per contract, we get 120 megabytes download and 20 upload. Okay, we got a pretty low one. Let's go, we're gonna run it again. This should go higher. There's tenants in the basement, so I'm assuming there's probably about 30 devices plugged in and on this network. Okay, so this is now the result from our standard internet. Now, we're gonna go and connect to internet 5G just so you guys can see the difference, because it should be faster. 5G gives you much stronger signal, but it doesn't go as far. And not every device is obviously gonna be downloading at five gigahertz, but let's do it one more time. Yeah, we're averaging 60, no problem. Okay, remember 120 is our maximum. We're gonna go and switch to Google Wi-Fi Mesh and let's go and run a speed test. Yeah, like, look at this. And we're already getting an additional 27 megabytes per second. We're gonna run it again just because. You wanna make sure? Yeah, like, so this is almost maximum speed, right? Which is pretty crazy. So this was our mobile speed test. Now we're gonna switch over to our desktop and we have this Wi-Fi dongle here, AC1200 dongle. That's basically getting the internet from Google right now. And we're gonna run a speed test on this desktop. And we are getting, what, 30, we're getting about 20, 20 on average. No, I wonder if that is with the, no, right? So you see, we're connected at 5G. So even at 5G, we're only getting 20. That's not good at all, even at 5G. So now we're switching to internet Google, and we're gonna run a speed test. Okay, no, that's insane. There you go, 110. And this is again on internet Google, and 104. We're gonna do run it one more test, and I'm actually gonna do one do a UCLA, which is another speed test. So we're not biased, we're gonna run this one. There it goes. So this is another speed test and you guys can see that I'm definitely getting over 100. And on the Google one, I got 104. And this one, we're gonna get 106 probably. Yeah, we're almost getting maximum of what the bandwidth is allowing us. Remember, 120 is what we're getting from the internet provider. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna test this again, even though the other one's still uploading. Yeah, we're going over 100, no problem. Okay, now I'm gonna show you where the Google is. So it is downstairs and further over there. So again, we are pretty far. So now we wanna go and add a new one. 
can see the little blue light and it's blinking. That means that it's in pair mode. So now we're gonna go load up our Google app and uh, gonna configure it. So right here you can see set up Google Wi-Fi. It already knows because again, this is Google Home and then the Google Wi-Fi is already recognizing it. We're gonna go and add it, look for new devices. Okay, so now we have to turn it around and we have to scan this QR code. Okay, and this is what's gonna identify the puck. And then that's pretty much it. We're gonna put the um, basement for here. And by the way, two pucks is supposed to be for a 2,000 square foot home or 2,500. And then three pucks are supposed to be good enough for 4,500 square foot home. You can take this outside as long as it's covered and you can extend your outdoor network as well that way. So there you go. So now it's testing the mesh connection and then we're gonna be able to run the speed test on every one of them. So if you're in a basement, you can run a speed test and that's gonna basically share that connection uh, with the upstairs. Okay, so that worked. Okay, good connection, great connection. Okay, so again, you can see that the good connection for the Wi-Fi room is because there's so much interference in that room. There's like tiles, there's brick, uh, there's tiles on, around the, the walls. So there's a lot of things that are in between the main router and this uh, Google router and then the, the puck. Now, I'm expecting to have good connection in the basement as well but you can see that the second one has got great connection. The one that we just set up, which is in the basement. Okay, stay in the no, no thanks. It's downloading something, I don't know what this is, um, but maybe I can exit this while it's doing it and do a quick test. The uh, desktop and let's do a test again. Again, you gotta remember, I was getting 20 to 30 before this. So yeah, it definitely is on 96, that's insanely fast. And one more time, I'm gonna switch the network to internet, which is the AC router. And then we're gonna run a test very short. I'm just gonna give it maybe 20 seconds to do its thing. Let's test again. Yeah, you see the difference? 35 on average under internet. So I definitely, definitely recommend the Google Wi-Fi mesh, not just for the increase of 50% or 100%, but like 200%, you're gonna get, you're gonna reach on average 200% more speed with this Google Wi-Fi mesh. So let's go and flip back to the update and we're gonna run a speed test on the Wi-Fi points. Basement here, all right, and then let's run the mesh test. Oh, now we have both great connection. Okay, now do a speed test. Yeah, pretty crazy. So on average, you're gonna get pretty much 94, 95% of your actual internet speed with the Google Mesh. Super happy.